That's right, guys. It's really happened. NNA Productions did it again. So if you don't know, a couple hours ago, I recorded a video uh, talking about his video that he did, a 3 a.m. challenge that he did on Etika. I was, I, I was pissed. I was incredibly pissed in that video. I, I'm still pretty pissed. But, this guy, NNA Productions, uploaded an apology video. And I've seen most of it, and I just want to watch it because it's probably the dumbest video I've ever seen, besides the Etika one. So let's watch it. It's two minutes long. You turn my desktop audios on. It's on. Let's watch it. Let's, let's see it. Before this video starts, all the ads money from this video will go to suicide prevention. The link is on the description, alright guys? And it goes to Etika, alright guys? So all the ads money goes to Etika from this video, alright guys? So guys, I have a lot of things to say and this video is gonna be unedited, alright guys? So I'm getting so much hate this past two days for making a 3 a.m. video on Etika. That's what everybody thinks. Everybody thinks I made a 3 a.m. video on Etika. But I didn't even make a 3 a.m. on Etika, alright guys? Everybody thinks that he made a 3 a.m. video on Etika. Well, buddy, you did make the 3 a.m. video on Etika. It doesn't matter what you called it either. You called it 3 a.m. In the video, you did try and act scary. You FaceTimed a guy who pretended to be Etika. Who wasn't even probably real. Probably just your little brother in a different room. And then again, you, at the end, I, I saw the end. You, the room goes dark. You pause the video, you look around, and then Etika's face pops up the screen and it makes a, a scary noise. You did a 3am challenge in Etika. You can't bullshit the entire internet by saying, I didn't do it. Fuck you. Like, legitimately, fuck you. The video I uploaded, the title was just FaceTiming Etika. I didn't actually- Again. J Station did the same thing. Nobody cares about what's in the video. They care about because you not only clickbaited his name, because J Station did it too. But he got the he got the longer end stick because he cl oh, not, he just clickbaited it, but he didn't do it. But he still fucked up by acting like a saint in the video and saying, hey, uh, what I do, people are gonna do a big video thing this about me, I blah, blah. whatever. But then again, he didn't do it. He still was smart enough to think, I shouldn't do this. But you, on the other hand, still went ahead and did it. You clickbaited his name, you got money off... You got money off of Etika's name and image, and then you plastered it all over your channel for the world to see. And, you're like, and they, we lost this guy forever. Forever. Like, not even that long ago. Like, what was it? Like, probably most likely seven days ago, we lost him. And, you're doing that, and you think, why am I getting, so, and you're thinking, why am I getting so much hate? This guy was virtually loved, and all I did was, what I'm trying to do, is prior, is monetize his name and image. I'm trying to monetize this guy's suicide. What's wrong with that? I don't know what is wrong with that in productions. That, that should be that should be legal, right? FaceTime Etika. I just titled the video FaceTiming Etika so you guys be so you guys will actually watch it, alright guys? There you go. He flat out says it himself. Flat out, he flat out says that that he clickbait Etika's name just so you get to watch the video. He flat out says it right here. At least J Station, hey, at least J Station changed the title. You know, actually, no. This guy actually, this guy, at least this guy privated the video. But then again, that doesn't make it right. Why would you upload the video in the goddamn first place? Don't upload it in the first place, because mind you, this video was conceived, filmed, and most likely written. Yeah, conceived, most likely written, because I doubt he acts any of his videos through improv. Conceived, written, filmed, edited, and posted. You had four more steps. To say this is not a good idea, but now you say this is not a good idea. The second you get any form of black backlash, just say it. Say you tried to profit off a dead man. 
it's hard to say, but it's true. Maybe if you said the truth and say, hey, I profited off a dead man. I'm a horrible human being. Maybe the internet wouldn't be hating this video as much as the other one. Maybe instead of trying to shift the blame onto your audience the other internet, blame yourself. Because that's who you're supposed to blame. Not the internet yourself. The internet didn't conceive, film, and edit, and post that video. No, you did. Don't try and blame us or your fan base. It doesn't work like that. You can't try and blame your fan base for trying to pro trying to monetize a dead man. You can't do that. How fucking dare you? And I wanted people to actually donate to Etika. I wanted to raise money for Etika and his parents. I even put the link on the description on that video. But once I dropped the video, it got so much, so much, so much hate that I couldn't handle it. So I private. Why? Well, I wonder why you got hate. I wonder why you got hate. I really wonder why. The video. And even on the beginning of the video, I said that I'm not going to FaceTime Etika, alright guys? There was this guy who was texting me non-stop saying, I'm Etika, FaceTime me, alright guys? And I just told him, stop pretending that you're Etika. I just told him this, I didn't say I'm going to FaceTime Etika. I FaceTimed that number who was pretending to be Etika. Just because you FaceTimed someone who's faking it as a joke does not mean that your, your video gets fully cleared up. You still made a video on Etika that wasn't a tribute or wasn't that wasn't explaining or wasn't just counting on his recent actions. You were mocking him and trying to monetize this man's suicide. So just because you you FaceTimed a fake a fake number, just because you did that does not make your whole video valid. Doesn't make it like, oh, the internet knowledge is clear now. You're a great guy again. No, it it doesn't. It never. It will, ne will never work like that. If you think that the internet works like that and it should work like that, you are severely, severely retarded. Like everyone is saying, oh, you FaceTime Etika at 3 a.m. The title and thumbnail was just that, all right? Yes. No. The title and thumbnail were just that. Again, just there. Clickbaiting a dead man. Clickbaiting a suicide victim. He says it right here. He, this is the second time he said it. Yet he still hasn't gotten why the internet doesn't like this guy. And I don't get how you can be this dumb and maybe this naive. I don't get it. Like, at all. Nothing else happened in the video. I didn't actually like FaceTime Etika. On the beginning of the video, I even said that, like, rest in peace, Etika. Like, how can I even FaceTime Etika? All right, guess this is like insane. And nobody watched it fully. All right, guess they just started hate commenting. And if you guys actually care about Etika, you. I watched the video fully. I watched the entire thing. After I left the vid in the video. I did come back from the part I skipped and I watched the rest of it. I watched the rest. I was horrified with what I saw. I really was. And the fact that trying to blame everyone else but yourself in this situation shows you how really out of touch you are. Cause you think that you think that everyone, no matter what you do, the internet should just suck up to you. And that's that's not that's not gonna work. It really won't. This is a horrible thing you did. You did a horrible thing. You tried to monetize a man's suicide. People are still getting over this. People who loved this guy. Absolutely loved him. Watched him. And then he, they, he has a breakdown. And then they find they pull his body out of a river. That, that must be horrible to deal with. Your favorite creator makes you laugh so much. And having nearing body, his body being pulled out of the river. And then here you come trying to make money off it. Do you just see dollar signs at every tragedy? Guys, I just call guys I just called shooting shooting victims at 3 a.m. Guys, I just called this this mother who miscarried at 3 a.m. 
Guys, I just called Pri I just called Prince Harry, who just died at 3 a.m. Do you just see dollar signs no matter where you go? Just all oh, that that's an opportunity for money. So was that, so was that. It's not everything's about money. Maybe have some human decency for once. And don't don't make a video monetizing a man's suicide. Maybe don't do that. Because that doesn't seem like a good idea. Because the internet will hate you. No matter what you do. See, I just think Logan Paul is not a good person. Logan Paul is a horrible human being. But he's better in the situation because he didn't do anything. Nothing about Etika. Nothing about going to a uh, forest, going to the lake where Etika drowned or something like that. Nothing. And Jay Station's still better than you because he didn't do it. And he he at least donated to Etika with some of his money. Now, he may have still made more money off the video that he donated, but he still donated using some of his money. You haven't donated a single bit of your money. You make 227000 a year, dude. Donate some of that first. Then when you show it that you don't donate that, that money, then maybe. Then maybe monetize the video and say, okay, the money that's going this revenue, going to set again. It is not a problem. The video isn't even monetized. It's not monetized. There's no ads here. No, not any whatsoever. So, again, he's, he's lying. But he's just trying to get us to donate it and not donating himself. Donate yourself. Donate at least two thousand dollars, at least two two grand. I know people want to say that. That's a lot. This guy makes two hundred twenty-seven thousand a year. He has way more than two grand in his pocket, out of maybe every single day of his life. Trust me. Fuck. You guys would actually donate to him, all right, guys? And I even let like. I even left a link on the description to donate to Etika. That's why I added so many ads so I could actually make money from that video and donate it to Etika and suicide prevention. And I'm no, no, you didn't. You try to make money off it. If you again, if you would, if you want, if you really care about Etika, you want to donate money yourself. Not try and get money from other people from watching it. You would have donated money yourself. But no, you decided. I should donate my money, my precious green dollar bills. I should get other people's money from their from their click. I should use other people's clicks to get money that I'm gonna keep most of and donate like ten percent out of it. Cause you know he's dead. He doesn't need the money. You fuck. I'm getting so much hate for literally nothing. Or I guess I just wanted to help out Edika. I just wanted to. You could. You could have done more than help her out. You could have contacted the family and give your condolences. Again, you could have donated. You could have made a tribute to him. You could have made a tribute to Attica. But no. You decide, I'm going to call this guy at 3 a.m. I'm going to monetize and clickbait his suicide. That's what I'm going to do. I am helping out the community so much. You're a great help, NNA Productions. Put the link on the description so people will actually donate to him, alright guys? How can I be? I even told you guys Etika passed away and I'm actually gonna donate all the ad money from this video to Etika and suicide prevention, alright guys? And I apologize for anything you guys think I did, alright guys? I didn't do anything, but I will apologize to you guys that I know I didn't do anything. Why should I even do that, guys? Like for one video. Why should I even do that? Get all this hate for one video which got like, tw I knew it's gonna get like 20,000 views for me, alright guys? And again, I apologize for anything you guys think I did. I actually apologize to you guys, alright guys? And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Done it. All the ad money from this video to Etika and suicide prevention. But I will apologize to you guys that I know I didn't do anything. Why should I even do that, guys? Like for one video. Why Nobody cares if it's one video. You still try to monetize a man's suicide. 
I don't care if it's one point zero zero one of a video. You're still trying to monetize someone's suicide. That that sentence should not even be said. That is so is such an inhuman sentence that it should even shouldn't even be said. It shouldn't even those words should not be anywhere near each other. But of course they are. Because this website is just full of people who just want money. Just like this guy. Who thinks he did nothing wrong. You did a whole lot wrong in anime productions. Right now I'm not talking about the garbage content you upload regularly. Because your content is horrible. It's horrible and I despise it. But the fact that, that I'm only talking about this video. The fact that you said you did nothing is baffling to me. It's it's really baffling. It's it's crazy that you think you're in the right for monetizing a man's suicide and and you're saying, What well, well, you know, I didn't do anything. I, I I did nothing. What do you mean? I haven't done anything, you know. I I, I, I uploaded a video monetizing a man's suicide, and then I got hate for him because I monetized a man's suicide. I did nothing wrong. Why should I even do that? Get all this hate for one video, which got like tw I knew it's gonna get like twenty thousand views. Ah, uh, this is so fucking angry. It's angry at me. I, I'm so fucking angry. People, nobody, nobody cares about the amount of views you got. Nobody gives apps shit about the views you got. It's about the video. You clickbaited it. You clickbaited in the title and the thumbnail. A man who's dead who committed suicide. And you not only did that, but put ads and actually did the challenge. JayStation clickbaited the video and and. and he didn't do the challenge, but he actually donated. Again, you haven't donated yet. From what I've seen, you haven't donated a single lick of your money that you get. Any. And this video's not even monetized. So. Oh. Oh my god. This is so angry. I've never been this angry in my entire life. I was so pissed yesterday from that video. And this video is shorter, and it pissed me off so much more than what that video did. Because, I was gonna make the video, but he acts like he did nothing wrong. It's like, he acts like he's the one that's in the right and we're in the wrong for criticizing him. No. No. If you are being criticized, nobody's in the wrong there. If you're on the internet or in the public, you're open to criticism. No matter what you do, you're open to criticism. I'm open to criticism. Right now. I'm open to criticism. Any, any of my videos are open to criticism. Free. Every single one of my videos are open to criticism. You can criticize them freely. Because that's a free that's freedom of speech. Also, that's that that's pretty much the world we live in. If you if you live if you live in this world, you are going to be criticized. It's going to happen, no matter what you do. You can be the perfect human being, and you will still be criticized for it, because that's the way you are. But sometimes criticism is worth it. This is one situation where criticism is entirely worth it, because this guy needs to be taught something. Because this guy is like, him and, with, with him and J Station together, they're like, Two of the most, two of the most cancerous YouTubers on this site. Really are. Here's the thing, here's the thing. There's more people who have done this. Not just NNA Productions and J Station. Here, I'll look at it right now. Attica 3M. Oh, I guess someone else has done it, huh? Huh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess I guess this um this uh I guess no one else is on it. So it's so it's just an A production the J station. Wow. I guess I was wrong about that point. Guys, before this video starts, all the ads money from this video will go to suicide prep. Shut up, you disgusting human being. So if you wanna if if you want a rewrite, I'll read what I said here, I read this in the comments. I'm not gonna say it. But I'll put it up on screen when the video ends, or you can just read it now. Okay, here, you know, I'll just read it now. Fuck it. So I said, fuck you. I watched the entire video. You may have not faced him the real Etika, but throughout the video, you proceeded to have no respect for him and his image. Plastering it all over your CD channel. You are a horrible human being, You deserve you and you deserve every single bit of criticism you're getting right now. Then this is for the part which says that he, he, he wanted to donate. You make you make fucking two hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars a year. You shouldn't have monetized the video and just donate some thousand dollars you make every year. You fucking degenerate. There. So I'm done with this video for a while. I um I can't do it anymore. So I'm um just done for a little bit. I'm, I I swear. The the con fuck. The content that gets uploaded to this site baffles me. Like, it legitimately baffles me. How much, how many people on the site have no respect for anybody else but themselves and their money? And any productions, do YouTube a favor and delete your goddamn channel.